driving license I took the test uh, and I passed oh my god it's unbelievable it's unbelievable <laughs> Hello mga auntie! Kamusta na tayo? Um, it's been a long time na hindi ako nag-vlog. Hindi ako nag-time uh, na mag-vlog. Um, so, I'm, I'm, I'm just so glad na um, I'm doing this again. And pasensya na talaga kayo. Hindi ako consistent. Ang tagal ko na hindi nag-vlog. And um, been just so busy. And I know that's not an excuse. But um, uh, I will start doing it again. We haven't been out uh, that much as well. Because um, dahil din sa weather. So, um, now that the weather is really getting better. Uh, yeah, may mga gala na naman tayo. So, may mga uploads na naman tayo about sa mga gala natin. And I'm um, just so excited. So, we have an um, upcoming um, uh, road trip. So, I'm excited na mag-vlog niyan. But today, our vlog is about the update on my driving. I have a very good news. And... <laughs> You know that I have uploaded a video before about her, a professional driving license. So since then, I have been practicing driving with my husband, a car. So I use our car. Mation guys, na natutulong ako magdrive here in the UK. I had a lesson before in the Philippines, but that was like a short lesson. I think just for a 10 hours lesson, and it was a manual car. And I don't think I've, I've even remember how I did it because that was just like a brief one just like um, a try on and um, so here it's a lot different there's so many real rules you have to follow so many um, uh, road signs you have to be very careful and so it's a lot different here so basically I've learned to drive here in the UK and I only uh, I only start doing that last year when I had um, uh, passed my uh, theory test which was also last year in June so I practice driving as as much as I can uh, whenever we go to the supermarket to have our weekly shop I usually drive and um, uh, of course you can't drive when you are on provisional license you have to drive with someone that has a full license above 21 years old so my husband is always with me I tried as long as we can avoid motorway because I'm not allowed it but on an A road where it's this dual carriageway you can drive so um, uh, I've, I've done that like I, I've practiced a lot the pressure is really like the stress and the pressure is to the roof i would say but it's all worth it i've, I've done a lesson uh, with a driving instructor as well um uh, i would say like mm, more, 30 hours i would say yeah a, a lot Be uh, that i've uh, started since uh, february so i've done a lot of lesson and um just to familiarize the road signs what needs to be like um the msm uh, mirror signal maneuver because i'm very bad with the mirror and also um, just as I have said, I've only learned drive, to drive here. Um, I first I had a struggle to put my uh, you know, position the car in the middle of the lane, so that's you know the, the struggle I had, and also like making sure um, uh, that I don't speed up um, in Cambridge here in Cambridge. Mm -hmm. The center um, uh, it's mostly twenty like twenty miles per hour, so it's really hard to maintain that. You should make sure that you're not above it. So plus the cyclist, the road is tighter, and the roundabout. Tell me about it. Roundabout. There's so many roundabout here in Cambridge. So imagine the the stress and um. Uh, but it's it's all worth it because I've got good news. Like I said, I finally did it. I finally passed. I've got my driving um uh, driving license. There, there is my driving license. So I've got it. I've got my. passed and my license my license arrived in just four days you know um uh, they said when you pass so this is how it works so um uh, on the day that i had my test um it was an early one as well um in cambridge um brookmount court and um so went there my test was around eight fifty seven. so i had i uh, had two mock tests well, i had two mock tests with a uh, with a different driving instructor and I failed on the two mock tests, but don't get disheartened, guys, because even if you fail in a um, uh, mock test, but learn from it, learn from what you failed from that mock test, and make sure that 
you remember um, uh, what needs to be improved. So that's what I did. Uh, the good thing is before we went to Cambridge um, early, my test was around 8.57. We went there um, at 7 a.m. And so we practiced the big roundabout, you know, the Milton roundabout. That one is a big one. It's also It was also Tuesday, so it was busy. And um, uh, cars uh, going to work. So it's, it's, it was a busy day. Plus, um, uh, there's also it's a school day. So it was kind of busy. But I'm just so grateful that um, uh, that day... Um, I was blessed to have a really, a really good um, uh, examiner. He made me so comfortable, so I was so um, uh, focused with my driving that I was able to do it properly. And um, yeah, so I did it. So the day, so before the test, you park at the test center. Um, they're parking. And then um, you go inside uh, the test uh, center. You will sit down. You wait for your name to be called. You have to bring your provisional driving license with your driving license they will ask for it they'll call your name they asked for it and then um uh, they will tell you okay let's go to the car oh, i was using our own car because i was not able to find a driving instructor that can teach me with their car so i had no choice but use our own car and so yeah i've been learning to drive our car i've been practicing using our own car so using your own car and make sure that the car is clean inside and outside the thread of the tire should be um uh, uh, also one you know at least minimum of 1.6 millimeter across the central um uh, three quarters of the tire so make sure you have that and it's roadworthy it is um has um uh, it's tax, it's um, uh, MOT and all that, so you have to check. You will be able to see all the um, uh, requirements anyway with the email that you will receive from DBSA. They will constantly um, uh, send you an email to remind you that the test is sooner, that you can reschedule, you can cancel. They will send you as well a text message. That's a good thing with it. Text message as well as an email to remind you that your um, uh, exam is near time but he checked the car we sat down he asked me the first thing he asked when he gets inside the car is that how do i um uh, check if the uh you know the the brake fluid and the car so he did not let me um uh, open the bonnet so i just told him so i will open the bonnet and check that the brake fluid should be between minimum and maximum so you make sure guys you study about the um uh, you study about the 14 qu questions you can find it online there's loads of youtube videos that you can learn from those um tell me and show me questions you will be asked randomly um one of those questions and make sure that you impress at least that make sure you get it right it would be uh, best if you know the answer, um, give you a good start with the examiner. So I was able to do it. I was able to answer it properly. So that was really a good one. And then we start. And I was kind of nervous because as soon as we, uh, he said, okay, um, uh, drive when you're ready. And uh, we started with a sat nav. And then, but the good thing is he was also helping me. Well, it, though it's with a sat nav, he was also helping me and say, okay, at the end of this road, um, I will go right in that. So make sure you don't forget to use the MSM and the mirror signal maneuvers to, um, uh, because they will be, and you have to exaggerate it, not just like move your eyes. You have to make sure that you really look at the mirror um, uh, and check you know, if you're turning right, make sure you check the right uh, center mirror, um, uh, and then right mirror, and then um, signal. And then uh, it says to do so, you uh, turn right if you're turning right, or you turn left if you're turning left, and make sure you check the mirror. And make sure that they, it, you really show that you're checking the mirror. So exaggerate, you be a little bit of an actress and an actor, so that you, they will see that you're really checking. And then also, um, just just be confident. Um, what I did is that I I keep chatting with the um, uh, examiner. 
he, he was asking like what do you usually do today so I told him about like oh, I'm usually be cleaning if you're if you're not working if it's your day off so you tell them oh usually at this time I do this and that or usually I'm working so you tell them you, you try to uh, communicate try to chat with them to lighten the mood so they will on but of course while you're chatting with them don't forget that you're also focused and checking everything um, I know some people uh, will not be comfortable chatting while driving but I feel comfortable and relaxed when I'm chatting with someone it took me a while to be able to do that really the first time I was like um, I was telling my husband, "Be quiet. I need to focus on the road." Then I was. Then after that, I was able to like, okay, chatting would help me feel less nervous. Um, uh, so uh, that's what I did in the exam day. So I was chatting with him. He was asking, "Oh, um, uh, uh, about holidays and like, what's the plan? Like, are you going anywhere?" So, you know, I keep chatting with him, but of course, making sure that I'm still focused on my driving wheels on the uh my hand uh two hands is on the wheel and making sure that i'm focused still so that's why i did i think that's that's what i was able to um chat relax and chat while still being focused on the road and my driving and not forgetting to check every uh check the mirror and um you know check the surroundings so i was able to do that so Again, but it's all up to you. If um uh, you don't like to chat, that's fine. If, but if they ask you some question, answer. And if you wanna, um, you can also ask them question or clarify. Let's say, for example, if they say something and you're you're not sure, um, ask them. But of course, you don't keep asking them all the time. That means you're not listening or focused. But it's 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 okay to ask i did ask that to the instructor from the beginning that is it is okay to clarify some instruction and um uh, he did say that yes of course if you um uh, you know if you're not understanding it it's okay to ask better to ask than just um, make a mistake so yeah but if ever you made a mistake like you supposed to turn at the next junction but you didn't don't worry don't beat yourself to it um uh just continue um uh, if it's not safe to turn then don't do it the next exit you can do it the same thing at a roundabout as well if you may if you miss your turn or if you t um if you exit in the wrong um uh, exit go with it continue that will help you anyway and just be comfortable don't beat yourself because i made a mistake as well um it's not a big one um, I was so confused with the wheel. I have this habit that I get confused with the wheel. So when I was doing the um, uh, park to the right and the verse two car length, I was zigzagging the car. Our car is big. It's a saloon. It's a big one. It's a Ford Mondeo and it's a big one. It has can't even. I have to really like look like that and um, see. So. Uh, when I was um, uh, reversing, and the easy maneuver that you can do is just reverse, but um, a two-car length. But I, I messed it up. But I made sure that I don't hit the uh, curb, so I was able to. It was just a minor because um, I didn't hit the curb. Though I was zigzagging the car, it's like you could have just straightened the wheel, reverse, look at make sure that um, I'm not hitting the curb. But what I did is like ring, 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 like that. And so I've got. I passed with six minors and one take. Oh, you! I still can't believe it. One take. Um, in Cambridge, there's like 51% of pass rate in Cambridge. So, you know how hard it is to um, uh, pass the test. So, yeah, um, if I was able to do it, I know you can do it as well. Just relax, uh, keep practicing as much as you can, um, uh, and you'll get there. You'll get there. If you will not get it uh, the first time, that's okay. There's always next time. Just keep practicing, and you will get there. And I took my first um, uh, drive on my own and oh my, it was so liberating. It was so liberating that I, I'm now able to drive on my own. And um, uh, I went to the church. Uh, that was my first uh, drive on my own, went to the church and oh my... It's just I can't contain my happiness that day that I was able to drive on my own. It was I was nervous at first, but then I said I've been doing this. I know I can do it. I will just do the same thing, which is make sure that I'm safe and um, uh, be aware of your surroundings and you can do it. Yeah, it's so um, th the feeling of being able to drive, not have that L plate anymore, and um, uh, it's it's a different kind of feeling. 
and once you pass, um, uh, you know you pass because the instructor will um, uh, take your provisional driving license and they will uh, take it and they will ask you to arrive back to the uh, driving test uh, center. They will then um, uh, tell you if you pass or not. So it's really good. So that word that they say, I'm pleased to tell you that you passed. Oh my God, that was like a music in my ears. Like uh, when the, the examiner said that. So they will give you an option. Do you want your, um, they will take your license provisional driving license, they will ask you how would you like your um, full license, um, uh, you like it to pick up or um, uh, deliver it. And so I opted for delivery, which is much easier. So, um, and they took my um, uh, provisional driving license and they will give you this certificate. So this is a certificate that you will get when you pass. And this will allow you to drive until you get your uh, driving license. So you can drive and um, uh, as long as the um, uh, as long as the insurance is updated in the car, you, um, uh, once you pass, if your insurance is a learner, make sure you don't drive after you pass until it's updated. It's very wrong. So if you're using your own car um, uh, and you drive back home, make sure the um, uh, instructor will be dri will be the one driving it um, uh, back home because if you haven't updated the um, uh, insurance yet so um uh, yeah it needs to be done first before you can drive and also you have the option to put the p plate or not so if you're confident to drive without the p plate um uh, it's it's okay um uh, it's fine so it's up to you there's no legal um uh, requirements to put the p plate so it's 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 up to you if you want to put it or not and you can drive yeah and you you feel a lot different um uh, when you don't have that L plate anymore, and it's so liberating. I I'm, I'm telling you, it's it's a different kind of feeling, and um yeah, I can now drive. I'm just so happy. And um, good luck everyone to those who's going uh, to those um going to take the exam. You can do it. Um, practice, practice, practice. Make sure you have your techniques and make sure that you um uh, if you notice those um. Uh, like any of your weakness, make sure you practice it and relax that day. Relax, have a good sleep the day, night before and just relax. Again, it's not the end of the day if you fail. Um, uh, you can take another one. There's no limit. Just make sure that you practice and learn from your um, uh, mistakes. So yeah, good luck everyone. Thank you for watching this video and I hope to see you in my next one.